Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. I'm Sang Kim. In the previous video, I covered how to calculate Pathworks utilities and cluster analysis by using attribute importance. In this video, I would like to share how to do market simulation analysis by using simulation profile based on conjoint analysis. Let's quickly review how we have done conjoint analysis in R and get market simulation outputs by using built-in R function. Right. So once we activate conjoint library, then there is a data set, T profile. There are 13 profiles and TLEVN, which has label uh, information, level information, and T preference. So me uh, measurement. So there are 100 respondents outputs. Like this. There are uh, 13 profiles. And each row means that first respondent and second respondent gave a score for each profile. Right? Then by using CA part utilities, this one, we can calculate individual customers' part worth utilities. So if we run this sentence, then this is the uh, Pathworks utility for uh, three respondents. So if I transpose it, right, we can see this result. Okay. And also, uh, by using CA importance, we can calculate uh, one, uh, 100 respondents uh, importance, average importance for each attribute, right? Then also in the previous video, I showed you uh, how to uh, make, how to generate importance metrics by using this uh, R sentence. And then uh, we, I showed you how to do cluster analysis by using mbclust and eclust function. So this is quick review about uh, two previous videos. I would like to focus on uh, market simulation in this video. So T uh, SIMP, which is a T simulation profile, uh, has there are four uh, simulation profiles, and each profile has different attribute level. All right. In this video, again, uh, let me show you how to calculate uh, market simulation outputs by using first ten respondents uh, preference data. Okay. So this is uh, first 10 respondents Pathos Utilities data. In our package, in conjoint library, there are three market simulation functions, CA BTL, CA Max Utility, CA Logic. If you run show all simulations, then you can see uh, we can uh, get total utility, Max Utility, utility BTL model, and logic model simultaneously. All right, so I would like to show you how we can uh, get uh, these outputs in Excel. This is same as this one. So, okay, All right. All right, so this is T simulation profile. So we need to uh, understand this one. So the first profile is price as a three means uh, high, high price, and bright as two means green, kind as two means uh, granulate, granulate, lated, and aroma as two means no. So uh, based on this uh, Pathos utility, we can also calculate Pathos utility uh, for this simulation profile. Okay, so intercept plus price as high plus variety as green plus kind as granulated plus aroma as no. Okay. The second profile, intercept plus row, this one, plus red, plus 
kind as one, you know, which is Bax plus Aroma as yes. And for third profile, Intercept plus Medium Price plus Red, Variety as Red plus Kind as Leafy plus Aroma as No. Okay. And then the last profile, this one. Intercept plus low price, uh, sorry, uh, high price plus bright as black plus kind as granulated plus aroma as yes. Alright. Then for second respondents to third respondents, we can apply this formula. Okay, then okay. if we calculate average of or profile, okay, this is same as this one. Okay, so this is total utility based on uh, simulation profile. Right then. Uh, let's calculate max utility. So the concept of max utility is like winner takes all. So if uh, we give score one uh, for uh, highest utility profile. So if max function max of all four simulation profile max equals the first one and let's give one if max equals second profile and let's give score two and if max equals third profile then let's give three if not uh, four. Right. right, this is so first the respondents uh, showed highest profile for uh, last and uh, first uh, profile, right? Then based on this uh, max utility output, let's calculate max utility uh, simulation output. So mm, count if range from this one select uh, press f4 comma and criteria as one one two three four means uh, profile number and then there are uh, 10 uh, utilities so divide by 10 right all right so uh, first profile uh, takes 10% uh, uh, market simulation and second, third and first uh, takes 30% each because uh, there are uh, three twos and three uh, third profiles and three fourth profiles. Okay, same as this one. Right, let's move on to uh, BTL uh, model. This is the formula to calculate a BTL model. Right, so first profile over sum of all profiles. Okay, let's fix a uh, column. Right, mm. and then uh, we need. Let me highlight uh, this one because it uh, contains uh, negative uh, simulation results. 
So in our uh, package, it does not include uh, negative uh, results uh, when, when they do market simulation. So uh, if after excluding those two, let's calculate average of F7 respondents. So this is same as this one. All right. Right, then uh, the next one is a uh, logic model. So logic model formula uh, uses uh, exponential. So, okay, so exponential of first simulation profile and over. each uh, simulation profile, exponential of each uh, profile plus exponential of second, pro second profile, uh, simulation profile plus exponential of third simulation profile plus exponential of last profile. Okay, and then let's fix column. multiply by 100 okay again same uh, we do not include uh, this one and this one so let's use the uh, this average function okay this one is to calculate uh, logic model uh, market simulation which is same as uh, our output all right so uh, in this video i wanted to show you how to do market simulation for max utility and btl model and logic model based on uh, part towards util individual uh, respondents part towards utility and uh, simulation profile I hope it was useful for you to understand uh, market simulation in conjoint analysis. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.